completely miserable day like literally it is snow mixed in with the rain the temperatures down so it's actually it's freaking miserable this is when a man likes to be indoors making his axes or even better than that sitting by the wood stove doing a live feed on his youtube channel sipping a hot chocolate and talking to 12,000 of his friends <gasps> Friend. more and more we grow the more it puts me here and the axes, you know, like I'm, people are buying things and it, I have to do it. <laughs> I don't have to, but that wouldn't be good. So it's just, it's pulling me here. Everything's pulling me here, friends. I don't know what to say. It, it's, it, it's so cool. It, it is so cool. I never in a gazillion years would have thought that I would have had this going on in my life right now with you people in it. Friends, this channel... <laughs> I've said it before and I'll probably say it many more times. We got a special thing going on here. We do. The people. It's the people. <clears throat> I can't believe it. Matt Holmes. Mr. Matt Holmes. Oh, buddy. Oh, Now, this is the kind of axe right here. I can almost guarantee you what's going to happen when I do this. This is a head-heavy wedge banger it's a sager there it is there folks right there bang look at right there that's a heavy that's a heavy axe anyway the balance point is right there there it is i found it bango look at it okay so that is a wicked wicked wedge banger it feels wonderful in your hands so i'm just about to burn put my bucket special on it's sharp as if we should go have a look at this I think we probably should. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go out in the rain. I want Matt to see this. And I like to test axes. For, oh, it's snowing. There's actually snow mixed into the rain now. It's reckless out. It's just terrible. I hate it. I hate this weather. Oh, oh it's gross out, friends. Hey, what is that on there? It looks a little better. Now, this is what I like to do with my new axes. Okay? Yeah. Let's put this over here. <laughs> there. Now, this axe is nice. And I can tell. <laughs> it's sharper than I thought. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Friends, this thing is sharp. I've almost got this thing cut down now. This is a beautiful little axe. Here, let's, uh, excuse me, let's do the test. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Mr. Holmes, oh, Ooh, excuse me, it's gross out, it's gross. I'm gonna turn on that little stove in the saw room. <laughs> Wicked. Matt, I did some nice little contouring on the top there for you there. See there? Matt there, there you fella, fat there, mella, mella, Matt, mella, fella, fella, Matt. Hey? Yeah. Sager, single bit Sager, beauty axe, buddy. It is, it's a beauty. Hey? Oh! So, anyway, Matt, you're a wicked man. Thank you for waiting and not even. You just, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't go off. You, you, you're, you're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. 
you know it's funny uh ryan washburn my friend i had took too long with his axe as well because i kind of bypassed it it's just it happens that's happened to me it's happened to me a couple three times now anyways um all the guys that it happened to like uh, andy gant was awesome ryan was awesome he just sent me an email and said buck and hey we could use the funds back and i went what don't you dare tell me i did it. No. no so no so no so i did it again so i i sent him back the dough and he's like, you know, and there's no mistakes in this world, friends. They could use the dough at this time. So, boom, there it was. You know what I mean? So, I hoped it helped out. But, Matt, you know, everybody, you guys are just so cool. It's just, I don't know. I, I'm grateful for you people. I am. I'm really grateful for you people. Because you see me here every freaking day. You you guys see my life. It's You know what I mean? It would be different if I uploaded once a week and you, you had a week to think about, what's that guy doing? You know what I'm doing every freaking day. You guys do. What's that? All oh, right. Okay. Now, I have a little project that uh, is very interesting, friends. <laughs> friends, this is an eight pound mall. I think it's actually, it might be 10. Well, let's measure it. Here's the scale right here. I wouldn't be surprised if this was 10 pounds. Let's weigh this. Look at it. Okay, so let's put this up here and let's have a look at this. Oh, it's a 10 pound. It's a 10 pounder, friends. <laughs> it's a 10 pounder. I've never had a 10 pound mall. It's 10 pounds. Look it. And you know what the wicked thing about this thing is? I have a vision. I like eagles. I've, I've always had a connection to the eagle. We, we have lots of eagles here around here. And I used to, I spent a lot of time on my pedal bike. Until I was 19, actually. I never got my driver's license until I was 19 years old. And I lived way out in the bush. But at 19 years old, your hormones are flying. You're out of school. You're the chicks and, you know, parties and life. And, you know, and, oh, yeah, man, you know. And I lived way out Yellow Point. Like, way out there in the sticks. And that house i talk about right in the in the shot with the wood stove and that eh me and my brother and i i i didn't have a car i i didn't have you know i had a i think where was i i just didn't have a car i didn't have my license till i was 19 so anyways i rode a pedal bike friends like everywhere so i would ride uh from my house in yellow point which is about 10k from here out i would reckon close to it it's a good 15 minute drive anyways. No, not that quite that long. Yeah, it probably is down Barney Road. It's probably 15 minutes. Good 12 anyway. So anyways, I would ride my pedal bike from there to Westwood Lake where the, you know, where all was going on at the lake, right? At 19, eh? And, and of course, you know, 15, 16, 17, you know, them years. So I rode a pedal bike like mad until I got my driver's license. This is incredible. Look at that. It's really coming and it's going to work. It's actually going to work. I've only got like, like, you know what I mean? Like I've only got a little bit left and I'll, I'll leave it now. Stay fat down there. So it should be good. I'm excited. Okay. Are you guys feeling me? Okay. It's cold out. My hands are, they're, they're done. They're, they're pins and needles at the fingers now. It's cold. Look at friends. Look. <laughs> this thing's going to be wicked. It just is. <coughs> Resurrection handle. I'm stoked. Okay, friends. I got her. Uh, Nick just pulled in. He's got some stuff here. What would you bring, Nick? That Pioneer back? Yeah, the dinosaur. Nick brought the, 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 the uh, <laughs> 620 back. Hey. What rookie chainsaws, you dirty dog! Oh, Nick here says he was talking to some guy on the internet down in Louisiana. Down in Louisiana, in Louisiana, man. Pretty sure it was Louisiana. Anyway, it was uh, it was rookie chainsaws, and um, Nick was had mentioned. Look at the compression in that thing. <laughs> 
Holy cow! That's a heavy saw. These power heads are like 20 pounds. Is it? Something like that. So, anyhow. It runs. Yeah. But it won't stay running? It needs a carb kit. It's not pumping fuel, but it runs. Yeah, well, it's not pumping fuel. It needs a diaphragm. Okay. Well, uh, we'll have a look at that. <laughs> anyway, friends. Isn't that cool? Is that the... Good. So the fit's awesome on this. It worked out really good, and it settled down. My concern is it would keep going. You know what I mean? Keep going down the handle, because it was a resurrection handle that I busted an old double bit off. So, but it actually settled down. It settled down hard, and look at the fat. <laughs> that, thing's, that thing's mean. It's a 10-pounder, friends. This is going to be neat. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really good. So, but look, friends, this is what this is what I like to see. Look at it. It, it is actually settling down hard on the handle. Look. On everywhere, except for right in the corners there, which is no big deal. So this is good. So I'm going to put a kerf in it. <laughs> and we'll get back to you. So, friends, we got this. It's freaking cold. It's cold. Instantly, it's cold. It is just cold again. Darn it. Okay, so we got this 10 pound Eagle Mall. I call it the Eagle Mall. It's a 10 pounder. It's a resurrection handle. It's a beauty. I love it. Just in the process of um, pounding a wedge in it. And I want to get. Okay, it's cold. Did I already say that? It's actually not warm at all. I gotta shut the truck down a bit here because she's idling good now. Gosh darn it! Oh! Burr! Take my hickory choke off. Let her go. I gotta put some fuel on that thing today. Friends, thanks for your help yesterday on, on Super Chats and all that. And uh, your support on the, uh, on the on the live feed. That was fun as heck. It just was. Okay. Well, I hate to say it, but I gotta do this. I gotta pull my sleeves down. I don't like doing it, but I gotta do it. It's cool, but it's almost like it just went boom. You know what I mean? So let's put a wedge in this mall. I might even think about taking this for a run today. <laughs> Bloodwood. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Okay, I just cut a Bloodwood wedge that's gonna fit beautifully, and I'm actually gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. If it breaks, it breaks. But I think I can make it not break. It was beautiful. <laughs> this thing's a monster, friends. It is an absolute monster. Wow, do I ever like this axe. If you're gonna have a mall, you may as well have a mall. Talk to you in a bit. Let's go get some firewood. Okay, friends, uh, we got snow. We Like, we got snow out here, and it's just like it's, look at it. You guys on yet, you are. Yeah, you can see it here. So, so the logs might have snow on them, but you won't be able to see the dirt. I may have to. Shame, you know, we're we're really dry, eh, friends. Like, like I can see dead wood everywhere. It's, you know, it it almost seems like in the midst of it, it's good. You know, in the deep, you know, in the places that haven't been touched. But on the outskirts, it seems, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, ah, it's a shame, really. Or where there's any development or any root excavation at all. Even surrounding, like, say 30, 40 feet from it, which is way safe, right? They talk about a drip line. Nah, I've been falling right away for 20 years. That's not, we, 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 they scrape them off right beside the trees and the trees live on right away falling. So that's, that's kind of a myth. Uh, it is. I'll take you up a logging road one day and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But anyways, here we are, friends. That's where I did that fall. And that first going, that first going, that first going, that first going, that first going. And we're talking fur, not 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 balsam, fur. They're, they're dying. I can see it. You guys can too. Oh, good. He's got logs up top here for me. Wonderful. Right on the side of the road. They look a little bit dirty, but not bad probably. Oh, there's my man. <laughs> yeah, good. Here we go, friends. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. I'm going to start cutting right there. That's nice. I like it. See you out there.
Hey, can I try that thing? <laughs> on that saw. This thing's cut. But look what I got to deal with. Look at it. It's not pretty, friends. You gotta watch it here. Dirt everywhere. Twenty minutes later. Twenty minutes later, scraping bark off, and I'm still gonna hit dirt. I know I am. I should almost fire up the 81 now. It's a hand file, right? That 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 full house grind. You don't want to hit dust with that. Like, you know, this is this is in rough shape. You know, look here. Look at. Let's do this again. Let's see what happens. Watch this saw go through this end butt here. I gotta be careful, there's dirt underneath too, so I gotta drop it in sections.
just gotta come over here and see what I'm doing. There's dirt. I had a look. There's dirt right there, big time. So I got a plan here. Look, you're going to be filing your power saw, wasting more time than I was knocking that rock off that wood. Look, see it all? If you had to cut through there, you'd have hit that. Look at it. See, right there, you'd have hit that. See, look where I stopped. Right there, I'd have been coming through and hitting that. It would have been hell. I'd have been done. You gotta stop. Take a look around. That's it. Now I'm clean. Who remembers this? <laughs> Who remembers that thing? <laughs> hey? <laughs> What a beautiful forest. <laughs> I don't use moss that much. This has a diamond top. I made it. You guys probably seen the video. This thing's nuts and it's blunt as all. I don't even, I don't get it. Anyways, I'll show it to you later. We'll play around with it. That 394 has been cutting wicked. I got to get rid of some of this wood because I'm into this big thing here now. Okay, I'm into this big thing. I use all kinds of pieces so that I can get my height and stack. I didn't bring a rope today, that was a mistake. Over and out. Okay, I'm gonna fire this thing up. Yeah. Friends, I'm gonna run this, This. Uh, I gotta pull this down out of the way because that thing's going uphill. I can't get at the bottom of that big log. So I'm gonna pull this one out. We'll blow the street off after and clean it up. I gotta cut this way now. I mean, I don't have to, I can cut, but that would be weird. I'm just gonna cut. Now we're gonna try this. I hand filed a full house chain on this little 81. So, I gotta get this thing out here. We're gonna see how this 81 does. I gotta feel it's gonna cut pretty good. I don't know what's here for. I should probably be smart and take a look here. 
You know what I mean, friends? Either the rakers are too high or we've hit something. It's the rakers. I'll be a minute. Friends, I just put my finger in front of the tooth like this. This is all I do when I, I don't have my raker gauge with me. I followed this the other day in the rain out on the truck. I put my thumb in front of the tooth like this and I file the raker. Okay? Just like this. On, a, on an angle like this. Downwards. You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying by that? Like this. I give it a couple strokes. It's a fairly new chain. Two strokes on each tooth. This file's hurting, but oh yeah, it's hurting all right. So that's what I do. And I angle my file towards the tip of the bar. And I file all the rakers one way. I don't go one way and then go the other way. I don't mind a little squeak here and there. What's the difference? Full house, right? You gotta be careful with full house. If you go too hungry, you're bogging out. There, this thing's ready to cut. Let's go. Let's do this again. This is gonna rip now.
<laughs> okay, friend. It is. It's. It's a. It's a wonderful winter day. I mean, it really is. But the batteries are gonna die. It's cold out. I want you to see this before I put it away. I'll show you more at the house, but you gotta see this thing. Ten pound mall. Okay. Did you see that? This is what I'm talking about. Now watch. Look at three and a half pound split. What, what, do you know what I mean? It just, the mall is good for certain things. Friends, I, yes, it's blunt. It is a blunt mall. It's not super duper sharp. But still, I mean, it is a great big, huge. It'll split it. Like, but it, it's quite blunt. And that's probably the problem. I should take some of them cheeks off, but it's a 10 pounder. I probably will fix that cheek up a bit. Okay, friends, we are done here. Billy called me in. I had, I had to hitchhike in to help him. There was a couple of heavy ones on there. We got to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows again on the truck. It is lovely, friends. This, uh, this 394, wait until I show you the video of the 394 cutting this thing. It's crazy saw with the grind on it. So I must clean the road now. Best bass lines I ever love listening to that Zeppelin again. The lemon song. Oh man, it's nice. Alright, fully loaded, crummy, heading out of here.
Now, friends, another load of fur. She's just, you know, it's beautiful. You know, all 12, 13 inch cut, just slide it right in the stove. So there's that last cord right there. So one row is a cord, okay? At 16 inch, remember I explained this the other day? So this is 13 inch cut. So we're, we're, we're three inches shy, right? We're three inches shy of, of wood all across this whole face. So, so if this, all this wood was three inches longer, right? You'd have the cord, the full cord. So that's why there's all this extra, you see? So if you actually, this is probably three inches across right there, you see? And we're six and a half feet high. So there's actually, it's a good strong cord. So if you took all those pieces and laid them on end, like on flat, you know, like flatten it all, it would probably cover that. Uh, well, it would, you can tell, especially with that top stuff. So it's just a, a, a real nice cord. When, now remember the reason I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this in this fashion is that we're talking about a pickup truck with no sides. That, that's why it's kind of funny because usually if you're going to get a cord of wood in a pickup, you got like four foot sides or whatever to get a cord, eh? You know, so if there's no sides. It's 18 inch size, just a pickup truck. So, so you can get a good strong cord of wood in a pickup truck, friends. It's a nine foot bed too. So I get a little bit of a bonus there. I get an extra foot, right? But I mean, look at it, friends. It, it really is. And, and Buddy's had some, some rope there for me, so I was able to actually tie it down too, which is a bonus. So that's good. So yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, here we go. Beautiful. I'm just gonna untie this now. Thanks for joining along.